Hello YouTube! Today I'm going to be doing a short review on the Life Source Infrared Quartz Fireplace. Uh, this fireplace is a electric fireplace which means nothing is really burning. It is a simulated flame. We'll get to that here in just a second. You're just seeing a reflection off the glass right now. Anyhow, this uh, fireplace um, is infrared technology which I really really like. If you've seen my other video on Eden Pure, that's what I use to heat my house. I'm going to show you that here in just a second. Uh, but I thought this would be kind of nice um, to put in my living room uh, because when I do go to work, I do turn my Eden Pure down fairly low so I'm not wasting a lot of electricity when I'm not home and then turn it back up when I get home. And it does take a while uh, to heat the house back up. Infrared technology, of course, not as fast as other technologies, but once it gets to temperature, Boy, it's comfortable and it maintains it. See how this is a very um, small, compact electric fireplace. It's only 22 inches high. So if you're looking for something large, uh, you'll probably want to look at something else. But this one is very well constructed. Uh, the flame is pretty realistic. We'll get to that in a second. And it, the heat works quite well, in fact. It hasn't been real cold here lately. Uh, but um, the room was heated up in a pretty short period of time uh, from about 65 degrees up to 72 degrees and I say it did that in about an hour's time which is pretty impressive actually. So let's go through some of the features here. One thing I really do like about this um, uh, fireplace, there's no construction or no assembly required. You literally take it out of the box and plug it in the wall. Wheels are all on it, everything's ready to go. Uh, it does uh, just plug into a standard uh, 120 volt outlet. I'll show you that here in the back. Just have it plugged in right there. Uh, you do want to not plug this in with any other appliance or anything that uses a lot of electricity. The plug on top is just this lamp here which is actually only using a 25 watt bulb. So no big deal there. And There's nothing else on this outlet and this is a 20 amp outlet. So I'm totally safe there. So anyhow, here's how you operate uh, the unit. It does come with its own remote control as well. I'll show you that. I'm going to tell you, you may see other reviews on this. This remote is pretty cheaply made. It doesn't really work that great. you got to be real close to the unit. So if you're looking for something that you want to use the remote from across the room, uh, this unit may not be for you either. But um, it's really easy to turn on by just opening the grill in the front. We'll show you that right here. So it is plugged in right now. To operate it, you just open this grill and you'll see all the buttons in here. To turn the unit on, we'll go to this button here on the right. It's set at 72 degrees. Uh, the thermostat can be set anywhere from 50 degrees up to 90 degrees. You can also um, run it either Fahrenheit or Celsius readings. The little flame up there just uh, means that the fireplace is on, which you can actually use the fireplace simulation with or without heat. So if you just want to look at the fire and not have heat, you can do that. Or you can have heat and also have the fire on at the same time. Other buttons here, the one on the left controls the intensity of the flame. It comes uh, when you turn it on on high, the highest flame. I'm going to show you that right now. And you do hear a slight buzzing noise when the flame's on. I think it's something inside that's turning to make it light up. Let me get back a little bit so you can kind of see it better. This is daytime too, so it's not going to be impressive or as impressive as it would be at night. But it is actually pretty realistic. So that's the flame on the highest intensity. So if you're in a, like a bedroom or something and you want just a little bit of light, you can just hit this flame button here and turn the flame down. It has several different settings that you can put the flame down. So that's a little bit lower there. I think you can even go lower than that. Nope, that's off. So it's three different settings that you can put the flame. That's the flame off there. Hit it again, it'll go back onto the brightest flame setting. 
But I do find this heater does put out a lot of heat, and one thing I do like about this heater, here's where the heat comes out. Right there's the vent. We're going to turn it on heat here in just a second. It's very warm here today, so even 72 is not kicking the heat on. But the vents, if you'll notice, are tilted down, so the heat actually goes down towards the floor. Kind of like that feature. This unit is also very well and solidly made. This unit weighs 50 pounds. And it's solid wood. This is not veneer. This is actually solid wood. It's a solid wood cabinet. Very heavy. Seems to be very well constructed. So anyway, we'll turn the heat feature on now. How to do that? Just turn the thermostat up. We're going to use this key right here. As you see, it kicked on to high. That means the heat came on. And you'll see here in a second, we will get this starting to glow warm. And there's the blower. If you're sensitive to loud noises, um, this is not enormously loud, but you definitely can hear the fan running when it's on. So if you're running this in a bedroom setting with total silence, uh, you probably wouldn't want this as well. Now you can see this starting to glow where the heat's coming out. We're on high, which is 1500 watts. And of course this can be closed during operation. Those lights will actually go off. It has a timer. About 30 seconds all the lights in there will go off except the power indicator light. Get back a little bit so you can see the whole thing there. You see how it's glowing orange and I'm telling you uh, a good amount of heat is coming out. It also has a low setting how you do that. We'll just kick that like that and then you can see it goes to the low setting. A little bit different than most heaters. Uh, most heaters are high as 1500 watts and the low is 750 watts. On this uh, particular model, uh, the high is 1500 watts, but the low is actually 1000 watts. I kind of like that feature in a way. It gives me um, an option to go down a little bit of power, but still have quite a bit of heat at the 1000 watts, and that's what we're on right now. It also if you push it one more time, we'll push it in again. That is called Eco Mode, which all it does is set the temperature to 68 degrees and runs it on low heat. So if you just want to kind of take the chill off a room or keep the chill off a room, you can use it in the Eco Mode, 68 degrees Fahrenheit. I will tell you the thermostat is not completely accurate. You probably are going to have to set the temperature a little bit higher to get the desired temperature in your room. Uh, reason for that when the heat's on, the temperature sensor is going to pick up some of that heat even though the cabinet really doesn't get hot. There's a little bit of warm air that gets to the sensor. Uh, I found that if I wanted about 72 degrees I'm going to have to put it at about 75 degrees to achieve that. I'll show you where the temperature sensor is. It's on the back here of the unit. It is right here. Always hard to do things holding a camera and doing it. There's the temperature sensor right there. That senses your temperature. So if you're looking for an infrared fireplace heater, cheap. These only run around $100 or maybe a little bit more. But again, just notate that uh, this is a very small compact, so it's not going to be a dramatic thing you're going to put in your living room. Uh, I'd say it worked great in a bedroom. I do have it in my living room, and it's okay. I, know, I knew the size of it because I uh, purchased it, and I saw the size of the box, so I knew about what I was getting. But if you look online, you see pictures of this. It looks enormous. Uh, but it's not. You can see how small it looks. Get down to more level there. I find it a good product though. Again, this is the Life Source Infrared Quartz Fireplace. I want to thank you for watching today. Any questions, just leave a comment. Hope you like and subscribe. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.